and welcome back to the kingdom. I'm the Duke, and I'm so glad you can join me here. We are playing Starfield. Now, this is the third episode, and this is a Let's Play series, so it's different from my Let's Build series. Um, but we are having a journey. It's been a slow start, um, but things might get interesting right now. So, if you remember last time, we uh, came here to the lodge to meet the these people. And they asked me to place the artifact on the table. So let's go ahead, do that right now, and see what happens. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Uh, how much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. We've got a boost back! Finally! Alright. Time to mingle. Can I help? Let's have a chat, shall we? I hope Barrett makes it back to us. Well. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and oh. everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. The vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Sometimes I think you only keep me around because I pay for everything. Nonsense, Walter. Your sparkling personality is why we love you. Yeah, but this wasn't some random synapses firing. It means something. Sure. I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. 
I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Right. How long have you been working on all of this? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on. And everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna. Or a planet with a specific quality. Like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Greetings, Walter Stroud. How may I assist you? Oh, uh, no, I don't need anything. Just uh All right, let me know how I can help you learn more. Doing. Well, right now nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, well chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. Right. One well, thing then, I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of, of xenobiology. I, I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Organic stuff. Got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Okay. I hope you're still glad you joined Constellation, Noel. Yes, ma'am, of course. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. Just making sure. Bright young girl like you. There are no shortage of opportunities. It's not always easy, but I just remind myself that if it weren't for you and for Constellation, I'd have no idea that any of this was going on. Okay, wasn't she supposed to show me where I'm going to stay? I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. Yeah, just I thought you can't actually access the bookshelves. Oh well. Just for show then. Ooh, nice violin. Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Station in orbit? Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I've been called this. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Scrumpy old man. Glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. Ah. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance. So I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Well, we'll have to check that out then. Um, but this isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. 
Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Mm. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. So what's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Do you think the vision I had means anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Never seen anything like it in my life. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar, in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. What kind of company is Strout Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. All right. Remember. Thank you. You're representing all of us out there. So do we have any here? sacred relics recently? Matthew. Yeah. Mateo. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo. Theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer. Like you. It's really good to have you with us. These artifacts came out of caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? What do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits. If it meant something, I didn't understand it. Okay, that's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. What brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So, I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common. And I was invited to join Constellation. All right. Take care of yourself. You too. Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Hey, have you been up to the eye recently? Oh, this I is. I needed to go up there in a bit. This wow. is a really nice model. Oh, I just don't know how he does it. 
up there all alone for so long? Some people love that kind of space. Pun intended. Fancy compass. Now, how do you suppose I access the upper floor? Maybe from... You've got something for me? The stairs, I suppose? This probably goes to the basement. Oh, it's locked. Locked and locked. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go there just yet. Uh, I wonder who those people are. Alright, so before we continue, just some observational notes from my side. Um, I really like these characters, their personality uh, is really standing out in terms of difference and everything. I hope you are um, there's just something off the about their the animations when they speak to you. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, Maybe a mod or two can uh, do something about that. And uh, then also this world so far has been really beautiful. I am at uh, your service, Captain. Yes, thank you, Vasco. I appreciate that. Let me just uh, move away a little bit from you. And uh, the world really does seem a lot more lived in than, say, Mass Effect, for instance, that I also played. This actually looks like, you know, a real place where you can live and do things and spend your life in. There's a lot more detail, finer details. This actually uh, seems like, um, like a home or a place for people to work and sit and do things. So it's it's been a slow start so far i can't deny that but uh, it's it's just building the story or the background basically for you to go out and do your th things that you want to do and stuff so i don't mind the slow start um but it's probably going to take a while just to get into things a little bit better oh that's a nice ceiling so we're going to continue now and uh, talk to Morgan. She seems to be the leader of hey. this group, Sarah Morgan. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? So, um, what is Constellation? What do you do? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. A well-known is Constellation. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. And what do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Indeed. Well, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. Hmm. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Hmm. The UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. 
They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Well, I have to admit I'm excited. My first mission. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Got it. You and me, until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Indeed. Okay, let's have a look at our missions real quick. The Alton Neighborhood. Back to the grind. Oh yes, that's that advertisement that we saw. Due in full, that's the job. And activities, what activities? Oh yes. Uh, craft or modify. All right, let's set a course for that one. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to do. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, just as I thought. It drops us outside the lodge. All right. We're uh, going to have to return. I don't know of any other way to get out of that uh, screen that I was in. This place, it's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. Okay. Uh, this is locked. But we've got the key, apparently. And to what seems to be the basement. Oh, nice. We're gonna need that. This looks like a 3D printer. Weapon workbench. We've also got spacesuit workbench. That's a mining bag. Probably gonna use this one. Is there any way that we can modify it? Do we have any mods? Also, not enough resources to do anything. Sab. So, let's move on over to this one. Also nothing that we can do here, so we will exit. What else is back here? Living quarters. Two dates for dollar four. Whatever human. Muzzle and me. Alright. 
That's the bathroom. Storage. Oh, hello. Doors locked with a master lock. And uh, nope. Alright, so we will have to come back for this later then, I suppose. Screwdriver, don't need. Tension with floor. Alright, let's change the mission then. Activities, we'll leave that one. Uh, research, research project, I suppose we can do that real quick. Question is where do we do that? Test of speakers, research lab, here we go. Now the research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at the industrial workbench. All right, thank you. Now let's see, equipment weaponry. Oh, those are blocked. Oh, you need to rank for this. It seems we can actually research something here. Grips and stock mods. Materials available, nothing. But we do have... Enough sealant. Okay. We do have... Good. So, was that finished? Not sure how that works yet. We will figure it out as time goes on. Maybe when we can get some of these on our ships. Let's go and investigate the brown outs in the well. Um, that is something that we heard someone talked about while we were walking through New Atlantis. So that seems like an opportunity. And hopefully it's not too far from here. And while we're at it... Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. Reliant on medical. Clothes. Let's do some shopping, shall we? Hmm. Please let me know. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. Okay, let's see what you've let's got. Let's find you something that you love. Errol. Patronage is appreciated. Indeed, I'm sure. Alright. That is the one what we will go for. Yeah, looking good. Let's go. We've got work to do.
Orient Tower. Okay, so it looks like it's beneath us. We might have to take a swim, or maybe there is a way down there. Maybe in through that way. Oh! Jump back, I assume. in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy? I, I do. do. Oh, there's a way down the right over here. And the Vanguard seems to have some new recruits. Here we go. Nice displays. Really? Yeah, that's a transit system. We're going to have to take the elevator. Well, I don't know if it's an elevator or storage space. This looks different. They are coming. Who is coming? Aliens? This place is dumb. They're always about a million things to do. Oh, those eyes. Creepy. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Who's Carl? Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. Well, I could assist you. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need isn't very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Okay. But I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So let's have a look around for a bit. I might have deactivated the mission, come to think of it. I think this is Antonio's place. Broken pipes doesn't look good. It's like a maze down here. Hello. Switch to activate. Probably shouldn't touch that. All right, let's see where we are supposed to go. This one. A 
over there. Squatters never cleared out. I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Really? Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. Then the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the uh hmm, the trade authority. Okay. Just find that and uh maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. Okay. Okay, the final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of Phil at Dems to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. I gave up on the third. Anyway, this should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order, but flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. Okay. There we go. Easy enough. Wow, you got it. Really well done. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station near where we met?
thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. I put it out. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. Oh. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Mm. Alright, so um, we are going to tag along with her, but this is where the episode is going to end. If you want to know what happens uh, with this whole situation, you're going to have to join us for the next episode. But thank you for joining me on this journey, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have fun. <laughs>